installed the file C manager, you don't have to do these things again. You can only go with this one. Actually, we did this already with Reinhardt. Reinhardt showed you that there's bioconductor. So you have CRAN, which is a collection to work in R in all kinds of fields, from physics to chemistry, mathematics, uh, and also biology. Bioconductor is specifically meant for, for tools to work on biodata. So everyone managed to get all these sequences for chymotrypsin and trypsin? Okay, so after I received, or after we received all the different sequences, as you can see, they are stored in vectors, and each variable in the vector is a single character corresponding to amino an amino acid. This is not very convenient if I want to continue working like this, so we need to change it somehow. So the first thing that I do is I write it out as in FASTA format. And there is in second R, we have line second R, there is a function called write FASTA, okay? So what does it do? It takes in three different arguments. The first one is my sequences that I retrieved from, from, uh, from Swissprot. Then I need to have the name for each of the sequence and where I want to write it to. So this is the file where I want to write it to. So check where you want to write it to, change to the directory where you want to, and then write a file. You should be in the, fi in, in the directory MSA. So I write these two files. I will zoom out a bit so that I can see my working environment. So after I write these two files, if I look in the, in the folder that I am in, I will have one file called Cramer Trips and Faster, and I will have one file called Trips and Faster. Yeah? I can just look at them. It will open in R, and in a faster format, as we know, so we have <coughs> the name, the name, indicated by a greater than sign, and then we have the actual sequence, followed by another name, followed by the other sequence, and so on and so forth. I will go back, okay. Once you wrote those files, install the package MSA using Bioconductor. Yeah, because you're looking in CRAN, but we should look in Bioconductor. This, these are the lines, the three lines that you see there. This is how you install it. Again, Bioconductor is a collection of libraries specifically to analyze biological data. Yeah, because I don't know whether you installed it or, uh, already or not. So if you already installed, everyone managed to install the library MSA? Yeah? Very good. So now let's continue. So MSA stands for Multiple Sequence Alignment, as you already probably figured out. So we have a library in R that allows us to do like multiple sequence alignments. You can also do it in other tools. There's Sustel W, there's Sustel Omega that will also do this for you. But since you are now our experts, you can just automate. Let's say you have a thousand sequence where you want to run it on 20 sequence uh, together and other 10 sequence. You can actually write your own script that will do it for you automatically. And then, now, we save we saved our data in faster format before because uh, the library MSA needs it in faster format. It cannot retrieve the sequence in this list format where each, each variable inside the vector was isolated, so to, so to speak. So first, we need to load the library. Now that we have installed the library, we load the library using the command library MSA. Yeah? Now, we read in the library, uh, we read in the sequences that we stored before as faster format as with the, with the function read AA string set. AA stands for amino acid. You can also read in DNA, and you can also read RNA. So. I encourage you to explore the, the library MSA. So if you go 
here into the right panel and you click on packages once you installed it it will appear here MSA no. <laughs> MSA so if I click on the link here MSA it will give me all the different functions that I have available in my library okay so on one of those functions is read AA string set or is that or maybe that's a second R function yeah it doesn't matter anyway so to read in a faster file so we, we tell it read in as the format is faster read in a amino acid sequence and this is the file that I want to read in you remember the dot sign refers to your current directory I like to use it just to make sure that I'm in the right directory. So I'm reading in the faster files that I, that I wrote out before again, and I'm calling the, the I'm assigning the sequences to two variables, kind of trips and sequences and trips and sequences. Okay? All done? Okay. We will do the last thing for today. Okay, so I read in mm, into my variable. I'm looking at the variable. And you will see down here, I have, it would show me just a glimpse of it. So I have those nine different variables. It will tell me the width of each variable in the first column. So the first variable has 276 different amino acids. And at the end, it will show. Me, it will, then it would show me the beginning and the end of my sequence, and then it will tell me the name of the sequence that I assigned before. Yeah. Now, if I want to do this multiple sequence alignment using, so it, uh, I use the function called MSA. So all it needs by default is. Uh, other sequences and that's it and it uses cluster W um, alignment if you want to look if you want to know exactly what cluster W does in the in the lectures in the presentation that I provided you will find it okay so I'm running my first alignment quite quite fast I'm doing the same four trips in. And now I have them aligned using cluster W. The uh, downloading the library yeah. is because they didn't manage to uh, install Bioconductor last time. We went over it too fast. I was hoping that they would all have it already. The thing is why it takes for so long for you to download the library MSA is because you didn't install Bioconductor before. In order for you to install packages that are available on Bioconductor, you need to have the package BioC Manager. By, by the way, once you do the alignment, you see here a message. Use default substitution matrix. What is this refer to referring to? So I told you before, when you do an alignment of amino acid sequence of amino acids, you need to, you, you sometimes, the substitution of an, of an amino acid weighs in heavier and sometimes less. For instance, tryptophan, right? If it was conserved, it got a bigger score. So the de default substitution matrix here is the Boston 62 matrix that I was mentioning before and that you can also find in one of the presentations. Also for uh, for, for, for this kind of alignment, you need to have a substitution matrix. So how far are we? Who hasn't managed to install MSA yet? Who's still downloading? One, two. Okay, I see some of the people already yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Once you do the alignment, look at the alignment, right? That's the first thing I would do. So I can look at it in a very simple ma manner. And it will show me here in my console how the different uh, sequences align to each other. Okay? It doesn't really look nice. Okay? So you have the function MSA pretty print. What, what will it do? So this function pretty print will give you a PDF file. We'll call it chymotrypsinalignment.pdf. Then you ask me, where do you want to show the names of the sequences? On the left-hand side. Where do you want to show lower, on the top? As for write it, do you want, do you want a message during, while, while this, this file is produced? No, I don't want to see it. Do you want to show a legend? Yes, T for true. Okay? So this is the last thing that we will do for today. So if you execute now the pretty print, you will see that in your file environment, on the right hand side in your right, right lower panel, if you look at file, that a new file appeared called chymotrypsinalignment.pdf. Yeah? Here, this one. I see a PDF symbol, and I see my, my PDF that was, that was produced by this line. If I click on it, it opens, opens a PDF file. Okay? So on the left hand side, I will have all, uh, all the names of my, my variables, of my, my proteins. And then you will see that I have all the sequences aligned to each other. Now what is a different color code? Yeah. So if I have a consensus sequence, which means, what is a consensus sequence? Conserve, right, right. So I want to see whether I have a, a amino acids that occur in all of my alignments. So if I have a, a conserved region, it will be highlighted in blue. That means that more than 50% of my, of my sequences at this, cert, at this specific position have the same amino acid. And you can see the color code here. So if there is a green asterisk underneath your conserved region, that means greater than 50% uh, greater than but less than 75%. Uh, hold on a second. No, the blue one, the, the turquoise one. Uh, the, the green one is, I think, greater than 75%. The yellow one is greater than 90%. And the red exclamation mark is 100%. I see I have a V in all of my sequences. OK? Above my, my alignment, I will have this sort of annotation, which shows you the, the conserved amino acid that you will have. So if you have all, and here I have a D, I will have one big D that will, say, will tell me the, this only this D occurs in all in, in all of my amino acid sequence and all my protein sequences. Here I have a P, and I have an N, and a D. So it tells me in 50% I have a P, uh, in, in 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 less I have an N and only one D. Okay. So the size of the letters that are above my alignments represent the conservativeness at this specific position. 
Okay? Yeah, I'm coming. I will close it so you can see the code again. So the my pretty print will not work if you don't have LaTeX installed. LaTeX installed. Yeah. It's a markdown language. Also, uh, something that uh, that Raina showed you last time that you can make our uh, ma uh, markdown. Do you have? No, not LaTeX. LaTeX. You need to install LaTeX on your computer in order for you to run my pretty print. I have it installed, so I I, I didn't think of it. Hmm? What, I found it? It's a program. What? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, install later. <laughs> no, you need to install it as a, as a part of your computer. Maybe tomorrow, uh, Juan can show you how to, to do it on Cluster Omega in Bio Linux. So you have another option. Juan, you want to show it to them tomorrow in, in, in Bio Linux? So LaTeX is the original markdown language. You remember that Reinhardt showed you how to use R markdown? Yeah? So this is, an, is a program where you can write text files using LaTeX markdown language. It's very similar to R markdown language, but it's a program that you use, that you need to install on your computer. And only that it can run. Because it produces a file that looks like this. It's not a package, it's a program. So it produces a file that looks like this, tell, telling you exactly how to organize your PDF. Yeah? 